Excel spreadsheets, what are they good for? All right, so today I was running a little short on what I should talk about for the vlog for the video this week. Um, so I threw a message out in the chat room. Hey, what do you guys think? Do you have any questions? Uh, and Vic actually suggested I talk about Excel spreadsheets today. So um, right now you can see his comment there at the bottom of the screen. But basically what he asks is, hey, I see a lot of tutorials out there for how to use spreadsheets for tracking your flower shop or whatever, but how can we set up a spreadsheet when we're actually for trading? So how do we, how would you use one for trading? How would you set it up? How do you set up formulas, that type of stuff? So what we're gonna do is I just have a very basic uh, spreadsheet started. I basically just have the headings up, set up and that's it. Um, I'm gonna kind of walk you through how you'd set one up, maybe show you a little bit of the basics about form uh, formatting columns, uh, putting in some basic formulas, that type of stuff. So as long as you know some adding, subtracting, and division, that's all you're gonna need to know for today. Um, so let's just hop in, I got the computer right here. So let's just hop in. So basically how this screen is set up, um, across the top here we have the date that you're gonna enter your trade, uh, the ticker number, the price you got in at, how many, how many shares you had, uh, the stop loss you put in, position size, exit price, and your commission. And then from there, actually position values kind of should go over here, but we're not gonna move around. So then from there, you can be able to ca calculate your profit and loss, and then your profit loss per share, and then the percentage, and then what your max loss would have been had it hit your stop loss. So pretty basic stuff. You're, if you're actually gonna use this for trading, you'd probably put in some more information, track some more stuff. But for now, this will do adequate for the tutorial we're looking to do. So I have no form formatting or anything like that put in. So let's just start right from the top. We're just gonna try and enter a trade and we're gonna start put up from some formulas from there. So um, we'll put in a date for 12, 2018. I think that's actually today's date. So um, ticker we're trading is gonna be GM, good old blue chip, blue chip, can't go wrong there. I have no idea what they're trading at, but let's just say $50. Um, and say I want four shares just to make the math nice and easy, right? Um, and I'm gonna say my stop loss for that is gonna be $40. Now, no means is this actually a trade plan. These are totally made up numbers, so do not trade off of these. Um, so now position value, right? So we want to we have all the information there, and if you did the quick math, four times fifty would be two hundred dollars, right? But we want quick, we want the Excel spreadsheet to do that for us. So the way that all all formulas start out is with an equal sign. So we're just going to do equals, and then there's all kinds of different things that you can enter in there. For now, we're just gonna do plus and minus. So, and multiplication, I guess, actually for this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the first cell that we wanna multiply. So that's gonna be the entry price. So then you can see it highlights that, and then actually in our formula, it says cell C2. And then we're gonna just hit the multiplication star on our keyboard. And then for the second one, we're gonna hit lot size. So what this formula is telling us right now, it's gonna do C2 times D2, and that's gonna be entry price times lot size, and that's exactly what we want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter. There you go, position value 200. Now 200 what? Dollars, euros, bitcoins, pennies, dog hairs, who knows? Um, so this is where you can actually formula, uh, give your cells um, a value, I guess, or a format. Um, so what I know that this whole column here, so these are columns here, rows go across. This whole column is all gonna be, gonna be dollars. So I'm gonna click up here on the actual column heading where it says F and I get a little drop down arrow or a little pointing down arrow. I'm gonna click that and it's gonna highlight the whole column. Um, you can actually do the same thing for rows over here or if you do the same thing in this top corner, it highlights the whole table, but we don't wanna do that. We just wanna do this one column. And then at the very top up here, we you can, under this number thing, you can hit this drop down menu and it's gonna give you all kinds of different options or there's some quick hit ones here too. So we're just gonna do the dollar sign. It's gonna tell us position value is $200. So we're gonna also do that for our entry price, make that dollars and our stop loss as well. So I did the same thing, highlighted the field or the column and then hit the dollar sign. So lot size was four. So we wanna, um, so at this point we know we could probably calculate our max loss too. So our max loss would be four times what our stop loss is would be our sale price, but we'd have to subtract that from where we get our entry price. So our entry price was $200, right? So, so this should actually probably, eh, we'll do that, where it is. So we're gonna do, max loss is gonna be lot size times stop loss, 
right? So if I just hit enter now, and that's gonna say $160 would be our max loss, but that's not really accurate. That would be what we would sell at rather than, so our max loss is that's gonna be $40, which is 160 from 200. So now we want this cell to actually do that math too. So now that I already have this formula in here, I can just highlight it, and then this top bar way up here, it might be a little small for you to see, but this top bar I can edit or I can just go right back into cell here and edit. So what I'm actually gonna do is put parentheses around here. So then I'm, I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm gonna say my position value or my entry price minus D2 times E2 and then hit enter. And that's gonna tell me that my max loss, if it were to hit my stop loss, would be $40. So pretty straightforward there. Um, now let's put in an excess price. Let's say we actually made that money. Let's say we made 60, we sold that at $60, right? So now, and we're gonna say our commission was $5, let's make it easy, $5 in, $5 out. So now we can figure out our profit and loss, right? So if we go here, so our profit and loss, actually it'd probably be easier to do this per share first. So we'll figure out the profit and loss per share. So our profit and loss per share is gonna be um, our entry price, Actually, it's gonna be our exit price minus our entry price. So that's gonna tell us we made $10 per share, but that's really not accurate because we also had a $5 commission, right? So what we need to do is take that commission and divide it up over the number of shares we had, so we had four. So if our profit and loss per share was 10, and then we need to subtract, and then we're gonna do parentheses again, the commission divided by the number of shares we had. So what that's basically gonna do, it's gonna say, okay, we had four we had four shares, our commission was five dollars, so basically it's gonna be a dollar twenty-five per share, and we're gonna subtract that from what our profit would have been. So if I hit enter here, it's gonna say our profit per share is eight seventy-five, which is that's good. We're good with that, right? Um, so now to figure out our total profit and loss, we're gonna do another equal sign. We're gonna do profit and loss per share, and then we're gonna multiply that by the number of shares we had. So there you go, our profit and loss per share was $35. So you can totally do that the opposite way around too. You can figure out your total profit and loss and then divide it by four shares to get your profit and loss per share. Per share. Um, there's really like a million ways you can do things in, in Excel. So um, you can flop those around, do whatever you want. So now let's figure out our profit and loss per share for um, percentage wise. So basically what I'm gonna do is I need to figure out how much I put in, so my entry price was $50, and I made 875, right? So I need to do equals 875 divided by my entry price of $50. And now it's gonna give me this stupid decimal point, right? So that's where our formatting of our cells is gonna come back in. We're gonna go back up here to the top, and we're gonna hit this little percent button, and now it's gonna say, oh hey, look, you made 18%. But you say, well, that's not really accurate, right? Because it said 0.175 before, yeah, right. So we're gonna go up here and these two little arrows here changes the amount of decimal point places you use and I always get them backwards. Um, so I'm just gonna hit this one and there you go. So I added an extra decimal point and it said, hey, now we made 17 and a half percent. I can add a bunch more if you want, um, but we'll just keep it at, we'll just keep it at one decimal point. That's probably ad adequate. So I made 17 and a half percent on that trade. So you can do the same thing with full dollars too. So this one says 35 even, so I can just bump this guy over and just be $35. We're gonna leave the change in there for now. So that's kind of the gist of how to set up a basic spreadsheet. So now we wanna copy all these down, right? So all of these ones that have formulas in them, we wanna use them again for our next row, right? Because right now, if I do another trade tomorrow and say I trade CMS and my entry point is $100, once again, I have no idea what their share price is, and I trade 10 shares and my stop loss is $80, now none of these things fill in, right? So what we're gonna do is you can just highlight the cell that's already got the formula in it. And there's this little green box in the very right bottom right hand corner. If you click on that, you can drag it down. So now if I drag that down, now I just dragged down that formula for me. It said 10 times 100 is $1,000. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this across here. Actually, we don't need the exit price or the commission. So I'm just gonna drag these last four. So you can do you can do more than one at a time. So I'm gonna highlight all of these, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, just drag this down. And you can do it one row if you want to, or you can do a whole bunch of rows. So if we drag it all down, it's gonna give me errors because I don't have things in those cells. So we're just gonna do the one row. 
And I just hit Control Z on my keyboard to undo that. You can also hit the little back arrow up here will undo the last thing you did. So then I'm gonna say my exit price on this, let's say we actually lost money on this, right? So I didn't quite hit my stop loss, but I got out at $90. My commission was still $5. So there you go, you say my profit and loss was negative $105, right? So now what if you wanted to figure out your total profit and loss over all of your things, right? That's pretty easy. I'm just gonna go down here, wherever, and hit equals. And we can do the same thing we did before. We can go this cell plus this cell plus this cell, but that's gonna take forever, especially if you have a huge spreadsheet. So there's an easier way to do that. So basically, if you wanna add up a whole bunch of columns, you can just do equals sum, and then hit a parentheses, and then you can just highlight all the cells you want. So I'm just gonna highlight all of those cells, and hit enter, and it's the same as sum as I lost $70. $70. Um, and you can do the same thing. You can just drag this over again. Um, so my total pro, uh, profit and loss per share is a buck seventy-five. Um, my percentage is 0.07. I don't know. Yeah, that actually worked. So my percentage is actually 0.07, um, but we want that to be a percentage, not a dollar sign. And my max loss would have been two hundred forty dollars if I hit my stop loss on all of them, which thankfully it didn't. So. Um, and then here we can do the same thing here. So let's figure out what we paid in commissions. So you can say, oh, hey, look, I paid $10 on all my trades for commissions. So um, that's kind of the gist of it on how to use a spreadsheet. Those are the super basics of it. Um, how to kind of format a cell, how to do some basic formulas. Um, I know I went through this real quick, so I will actually link this spreadsheet right here with those test values in it uh, down in the bottom. So you can download that, play with it, kind of see what I did, what I changed, what I didn't change. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty basic. If you're doing math, it's just like using a calculator, really. You just hit the equals button, click on the cell you want, and then do it. But you can also do times with values too. So um, if I were to just click here and say, this equals 10 times, or 11 times five, it'll still do my math for me. Um, it doesn't really do me any good. But if you wanted to do math that way, you could do it as well. So. That's pretty much the gist of it on using an Excel spreadsheet, the very basics. So if you have any other questions about Excel or anything other technology wise, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to ha help you out and maybe do some more tutorials like this or more some tech review videos or whatever you're looking for. So let me know and uh, we'll help you out. Thanks.